Hi Aquarius, hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. And hello and welcome if you're new to the channel. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so, so much for your support. If you are a regular watcher, if you're new to the channel, hello. This is your June 2022 love reading. Messages from spirit, messages from your person. What is going on in your no contact and or, these are yours, and or in separation connection. Okay. Remember, these are general readings, so take what is for you and let the rest go. As always, remember, look at how your reading is coming down, guys. Remember to trust yourself, your intuition, your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels. This was also hanging off the deck, so we are going to take that. I'm going to get one last shuffle here and a cut deck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Look how your reading is coming today, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. This is for June 2022. However, when you get here is when you're meant to be here. When you're here, you're here for a reason. There are no accidents. There are messages here for you. Okay, so let's get this last card <laughs> down. You're moving, your reading is moving very fast, Aquarius. As you can see today, we are beginning our reading with Wisdom of the Oracle. We do have our channeled love messages and our channeled song messages here. I might bring in some tarot. I might bring in some more Oracle. I'm not really sure, guys. I'm just going where I am, where I, what I, with what I am feeling here. Okay, so there's a couple of things going on. We have the co-create here wanting to be your overall energy. And right below it, the chop wood coming through here. This is, well, in your partnership placement, um, in your partnership, excuse me, Aquarius, I want to tell you this is a lot about getting back kind of to the simple things, which is including communication here. Now, this co-creation is about the two of you, but this is also about spirit. So I, this is going to be, I already feel it here, probably going to be seeing the blessed card, fork in the road. Okay, Aquarius, you're not really sure. Well, look at that, fork in the road in the here and now. To breathe, gosh, let go, let God. I was just about to say to you that I feel this is a very strongly spiritually guided connection, and it does feel that way. Look, the go the distance, Aquarius. It's a very strong message. It's it's. Are you going to? You're at a fork in the road here, and it's also right here in your partnership placement. Are you moving on or are you going to go all the way? Did somebody present also possibly some marriage here? And it's sort of like this all or nothing feeling. A leg up is coming right below that. So in this the past here, it's also feeling to me like you weren't getting, you were giving more in this partnership with your person. Look at that, between the two worlds. Yeah, this is you today. I have to say, this is the naughty corner. If you've watched my readings before, you know that this is where a lot of energy can go of somebody who might be ghosting or breadcrumbing or just is indecisive or even about the past. Here, now, this is you. Why? Because I feel here, look at this, that you were giving a lot more in this partnership, Aquarius, a lot more. You're needing your person to step up. You're needing your person here in that co-create. And if you're going to go the distance, which is quite literally coming back together and taking it really, really far here. By the way, this is coming to an 11. This is about the two of you in this partnership, guys. Then you're, you're going to need your person to step up here because I see you in this energy of you could either go or you could stay. Look at that. Between two worlds here, guys. You really are. This is the other thing, too. I was feeling really drawn today to putting down this amethyst, and that's your energy, Aquarius. Now, Pisces comes through quite strong as well as Aries, Scorpio, and Cancer, and Capricorn, but Aquarius, number one here. And then I would say Pisces and Aries, but this is all about you, and it's about clearing your head, guys, so that you can reach your destiny. So this is interesting because it's exactly what is going on in your partnership here. Very first placement is the fork in the road. Look, guys, this is coming to a four, and this is a lot about you manifesting what it is you want, and also what, what you want 
in which direction you're going to go in. And we see that here with this person in the past or toward somebody else. Now this, as you can see, past, future. This is coming to a five. Five is a number of change. And that's also telling us that you're very conflicted, that you're not really sure what you want to do. And here's what I want to tell you. There may have been some deception in this partnership that's coming down here. And this all that glitters card, this is about your person in the past. So it could have been something they were saying or doing wasn't really lining up. I feel more like you were just doing a whole lot more, but maybe felt like you didn't know your person the way you thought you did. But this here and now, we already know that you're kind of at an Im impasse, I wanna say. Um, maybe even blocking yourself, just not really sure what you wanna do. I am feeling a, a little bit like maybe your person, will have to maybe get some more cards down, but I feel like they may have sent you a message, or it can be maybe even you did, but there is this feeling that, you could that you could either stay or you could go here and that's very clear in the fork in the road and the here and the now and then we see the breathe right below it that is coming to an 11 this is about your person your partnership we also see it here in the partnership placement and this really is about getting a new perspective going with the flow, meditating about what it is that you want. Right here in the divine, guys, with that star energy as well, Aquarius, you are there. You're very much here, actually, in this energy today because I do feel that you're you're having hope for your future and possibly with your person, but you're also realizing a lot of things, maybe that you already knew, but you weren't totally ready to accept or it was hard for you to accept. And we see that in the co-create cards, a real strong connection to the divine here. And I feel like that's where you are now, really figuring it out, guys, that you also need your person here to step up quite literally if you are going to go in the direction of your person, which is where and which is what. It is the distance. As I said, when we see this card, it is about going the distance and right below it is the leg up. So that's telling us that you are considering that. We see that here. I feel like I'm surprised we didn't see the time to go card. because I, I kind of feel like you could go either way. That's what it feels like to me here on um, whether or not your whatever journey you're on, maybe you're putting a pin in it for later. There is a strong message here for you to connect with the divine and get some perspective here. And that includes meditation, walks in nature, and really the main messages of trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels because there's a lot of conflicting energy. Now I see here when we look down at the chop wood card, this is, you're wanting things to be more simple than they have. You're just wanting a, a just to just to be back and and just kind of how things used to be that's what i want to say to you that's the feeling that i'm getting here so are you going to get that now we do have the loyal heart is here in the naughty corner if you watch my readings you know this is the the area where some energy can go that can be somebody who was breadcrumbing or ghosting or maybe for some infidelity i'm not really sure that i feel that here i do feel some deception but it feels kind of more connected with, yeah, it feels connected. Taurus energy, by the way, is just keeps, I keep seeing elephants and they're connected to Taurus and which also connects me to the Hierophant. So I do feel like for some of you, this is long distance, but also what is coming through for some of you is that there's a real strong connection to maybe cultural, cultural stuff, religious differences here, or even families of origin, or even just the direction that you're going based on that here. So you could look at this. It's someone that you obviously really care about and you're still here thinking about if things could be simple again. You're both still here in this and it can end up being that you do go the distance here, but look what it's a direct opposite to. It's the here and now and what is below it, the breathe card. You're thinking a lot about it. You want things to be the way they were. You're just not sure here, but you do need your person. This is about the past. You're assessing that and trying to figure out, yeah, here guys, if you want to stay and you're gonna need your person to step up. And this is, as I said, the, the kind of naughty corner. <laughs> for lack of a better way to say it, it really is where some energies can go. So seeing that loyal heart, it can be that somebody was 
in, uh, was, was, there was another person. That's what I want to say. It's not going to be for everybody. The main thing here is I do see that you're still here, but I also see that there's something connected to loyalty and trust that was broken. And that is the deception I see here in the all that glitters. And I also see it in this beautiful loyal heart card because it is in this particular energy. However, it's also coming up here and I do feel it can be I keep seeing the message in the bottle card. I feel like I want to see if it wants to come down because I feel like your person, if they haven't sent you a message, Aquarius, it feels like they might and want to address that because I don't think that they're gone yet. And I also feel like they're kind of keeping an eye on you and maybe afraid that you're leaving. You might have met somebody or even started something with someone you know. Maybe you even both know or somebody that was already in your life, a restart, whatever it is, but your person is getting nervous here about that. And I wanna to say to you, whatever it is you're gonna do, it's gonna be different for everybody, guys. There's a lot of people here at, this re at these readings. So you trust yourself, your intuition, your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels, okay? And it's strong here that you're really needing to think about that. And it really does look, you could go either way. I just feel like your person knows that. And there you are between worlds. You're in the past, but you're also in the future with your person here. You still love them. That's what I want to say to you. Despite whatever went on here, which also comes through in the loyal card and the all that glitters card, we see here in the here and now, and we see here in the fork in the road that there is still love there. Although I feel like that time to go card <laughs> is here in some ways, as I said. You're really stuck because you're stuck on the past, but you want it to be different. We see that with the chop wood. You want it to be simple again and easy again. You want your person to step up and give back what you were giving in order to go all the way, which for some of you included marriage and families, whatever that is for you, okay? And that's why this also feels so difficult to me. It feels like it wasn't just your heart that they broke. They kind of shattered this, the plans, they shattered what you had planned with each other or what you had in your mind that this was or was going to be here. I do see the love still there. And I do see a conversation here, guys. It's very strong. And there are those keys. There's that Hierophant energy. I really do feel like it's a connection to its family energy. So whether it's on your person's side or your side, that seems to play a really big part in this connection with the past energy and possibly the current energy and where things are going. But I see you here in the past, but also still thinking about your person and the future, but your future in general too, not just your person here. And again, we see that. We see you also just wanting something simple. If you can have it with your person and go all the way, great. But it's not, yeah, it's just different for everybody here. But as I said, I just felt so drawn to putting down this amethyst. And this really is you, Aquarius. And it really is about you clearing your head, connecting your crown chakra, just coming, kind of coming out of the clouds a little bit, I want to say, in your head, clearing your mind so that you can reach your destiny. It's strong for you, Aquarius. It's, wow. Okay, and we also see it here in the, the loyal heart. I do feel you both here, but again, I do feel you. It's real strong that you could you could just go because you're connecting in a different way here, very spiritually too with that co-create, guys. I do feel this is you connecting here now about what it is you want, your destiny, guys, whether it's with your person or you're going to move on. And there is a little bit of that stuckness. And we're gonna bring in a... Let me grab here an Enchanted Map Oracle card. Now, in my recent Twin Flame reading, and you may or may not be on a Twin Flame journey. If you're not, let that go. I want to say, was it the Twin Flame, but the Stuck in the Mud card is coming up too. So I want to see if it comes here. It's, it's in particular because it's an elephant. No, but look what did come down. Guys, wide open. You are so ready for change here. Look at this. Now, this is also coming to a six. So you have been in healing mode, and we see that. Look at this. You have really, really have come a long way, guys. You really are connecting with the divine now in a way that you haven't in, 
it, you, I feel like you could go either way. You are a little stuck in the past with this person, we see that, but you're also really thinking about the future. Could it be with them? Maybe. It can be maybe, if you can get through all this. And this is also why this is coming down, because it's a really strong message for you to let go, let God, let goddess, the universe, whatever that is for you here, this connection to the divine and really get some perspective so that you can get some clarity, which is strongly coming through here with your amethyst in a really strong way, clearing your head guys so that you can reach the destiny that what it is you want. A simple partnership here. We see that future, whether it's with your person or it's totally moving on. You're ready for that. You're healing. You're still in healing mode. And I do feel you want to heal with your person here. That does come through strong. But I realize that's not going to be possible for everybody. Okay, let's see what else. And then I actually want to look at some more wisdom of the Oracle because I'm kind of feeling like, yeah, I'm seeing the time to go. I'm seeing message in a bottle for some of you. So let's see what's going on here. Storm fields. Yeah, guys, this is that past energy here. Look at this. Wow. Wow, 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 Aquarius. So what went on in this connection? In connection with the loyal heart and the all that glitter. Some deception here. And that's the other thing I want to tell you. I didn't really talk about it so much because it's not real strong, but it is here. We do see that three, that between worlds here in the past and the kind of present, the future, dreaming of that future. And, and that is a three and it's right below the loyal heart, loyal heart card. So it does tell me for some of you that there was another person. But I want to tell you, when I talk about third parties in my readings, a third party for me is not always three. Three for me is about divine timing. It can be. And it can also be about a third party, but it doesn't always mean a, another person as in infidelity. It can also mean family or can mean other or something that just got in the way. For some of you also, long distance is really strong here. I do feel, as I said, a real strong connection to, there's a lot of family energy here. There's a lot of Taurus energy here, guys. So that can also be what is going on here. But I see you still there with your person in your heart. That's what I want to tell you. But also thinking about what it is you really want. And can your person give that to you? The stormy fields, this is telling me about that past energy. And nine is a number of completions. So I do feel that you are actually, um, have been already, you're already out of that, I feel. Some of you might still feel like you're in there. The main reason for that being is this really strong amethyst energy of really needing to clear your head. And one thing that's coming to me too, we'll look at this in a moment with this amethyst is, as I said, is kind of the idea of somebody's head in the clouds a little bit. Interesting here with that storm field. So we see that path with the storm. But it's also a storm that you can see here that is going to be passing or may have already passed. There are also flowers here. I, I do feel that this is some of you now, a little bit in that cloud, really wanting to reach your destiny, whether it's with that person or someone else. But I also feel some of that past energy that this was what went on here. But some of you are still here. And look, it's wanting to be right on the breathe card. Yeah, really needing to clear your head. Some of you might be in the clouds up there is what I want to say. Just thinking about it. Golden Palace. All right, guys. This is about that journey. And look, it is coming to a five. That is a number of change. And there is the moon here. And look at all that ascension here with the birds. I want to tell you, when they come into my readings, it really is about a heart being lighter here and it can be that it's your person if they're coming through with a message I kind of feel that I want to look here guys and I'm seeing message in a bottle I feel like for some of you you may have already received one but what I'm feeling for you in this particular energy now that this is from spirit it's really strong for you guys here because I do feel that you're in this you're kind of at an impasse, I want to say. You could go either way is what it feels like. Your heart wants to go with your person here. But I know that, that for some of you, there's just something that you need here. Um, in particular, your person stepping up, guys. And also being honest about something here. We see in the loyal heart again and the all that glitters. It's something went on here, some deception 
in order to have that. But that number of change here is quite strong. And I do feel that this is really almost an extension of the Breathe card in some ways. But this is the spiritual path that you're on. That's what I wanted to tell you. Okay, I'm going to move this back a little and so that I can fit all your cards in. When I'm doing oracle readings, they're a little bit larger. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to fit everything on the table. Okay, um, so let's see if what's coming in here with the wisdom of the oracle. Then we're going to move on, guys. Um, I don't really feel the need for any tarot today. I just haven't been feeling it lately. But I will bring in a true love reading card. But let's first see what wants to come down. As I said, I, I feel a really, um, oh wow, okay, no place like home is here. There is that five again too. Yeah, there's such a strong home connection, guys. Also, this is telling me that you, you feel like this is your person, guys. And that's the thing about when a home comes into my reading. It can also be a lot about that, yeah, that really strong feeling of feeling at home with somebody. So I see you still here. I see you thinking about it too. Um, these are both coming down. They're sort of like clicking off the top. So I'm going to take them. The happy, happy card and the come to the edge card. This is a nine. It's a number of completion. This is also about come going back to somebody too, guys, taking a chance here. So this is what you're thinking about and getting that happy outcome. It's another nine, a, a number of completion, attainment, fulfillment. These two together is telling us that this looks like it can be quite positive here. So um, I do want to say this, this is not a prediction, guys. So can it be that your person is going to come here with this offer and it's going to be a happy ending, of course, but it can also simply be your dreaming that's going on because I see it here really strongly in the chop wood and your spiritual journey here, the need for you to get some perspective because you're in a really big decision mode here. You're kind of stuck is what I want to say to you. This is what you're wanting. And it does look like that this can be an outcome here for some of you. Should you be able to get past whatever went on here. Okay, guys, let's set this down. I'm going to put this happy, happy with the go the distance because that really is about, yeah, going all the way here with this person, which you're not sure about. I know that this is what you want. The come to the edge too, by the way, I want to see if the message in the bottle wants to come because I do feel like for some of you, you already received a message. And if not, I feel like you will be because I feel like your person is coming back here. Uh, yeah, with this offer of doing better. And this is kind of calling, calling you to them is what I want to say to you. Divine timing has come down. This is not surprising at all because it does feel like it's the time. All right, so we also have the mending card. This is how your reading is going today, Aquarius. This is a seven. It's about the two of you. Look, you're both here still. You're both here on the loyal card. You're both here in the mending card. What is this? It's forgiveness. It's fixing it, but it's forgiveness. There's a lot of mending that needs to go on. We see that a lot here. I do feel you're kind of, like I said, I'm surprised we didn't see the time to go card because I do feel that you're kind of in the, in the middle of that. But look what's coming down here. This time for a nap card really does align here with the breathe card. And that is clearing up. That is this, excuse me, this amethyst energy that we feel here of coming out of your head, guys, and clearing things up so you know what it is you want. Okay, so this is the last one. And I just had a flyer. Okay, there's two flyers, but only one of them is upright. And I'm not surprised. <laughs> it's the message in a bottle card. I thought this might come. Aquarius, this is coming to a six. It's all about healing and through a message. And I want to say to you, I feel like for a lot of you, you have already received a message. And if not, it feels very strong that you will be. Your person is still here. The mending card is here. We also see the leg up here, that feeling of your person needing to step up if you are going to go the distance with them. Because Aquarius, I feel here so strongly that this is you and the fork in the road 
in the here and the now, also here in the between two worlds, really still in love with your person and thinking a lot about your person, but also having a lot more confidence than you had. And that all, all is another reason why I feel like this amethyst wanted to be in your reading. And if you don't, you gotta, you gotta go into this let go, let God, this breathe energy here. Also this time for a nap. It's a lot about getting perspective, guys. And get that confidence so that you can get what, what it is that you want in this partnership. And if not, some of you I know might be moving on. And that's going to be for you to decide here, guys. That fork in the road, the here and the now. Trust yourself, your intuition, your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels. Gosh, you guys, this is not surprising at all. And look here, this is the other thing. And we do see a phone in here. So it can be an SMS or a phone call. Very emotional too. And as I said, I've been feeling like your person has just been kind of keeping an eye on you somehow, or maybe it's just hearing something that you might be moving on here. So it does feel like they have already sent a message or will be. Okay, let's look at a true love reading card here we go you got the soulmates card Aquarius 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 look at those butterflies look little people attached to them as you know that's about transformation and a metamorphosis together and coming together again after going through it here so i also want to say to you look there is that angel guidance which we also know about i do feel here we see that in the loyal heart somebody can also be energetically calling to the other one we see here in the home card that there is a very strong spiritual connection here that's undeniable guys we see that you're still here with each other gosh you guys and thinking about the long term it is now this divine timing that we see here in the TikTok card it's also because it's now that this is happening it's time to decide this you're, we see that you're here at the fork in the road and the here and the now you're really connecting in a way that you haven't gosh you guys and it can be that this is something that's going to be coming through in a message quite soon let's get another one again it could be that they've already sent it the divine masculine okay so this is a very clear message that a divine masculine well we know <laughs> divine masculine is here and it can also be guys that's you or it can be your person but look i do want to say to you in particular that somebody here a divine masculine can also be a scorpio guys just just how it is can and can also be an Aries but and even a Leo <laughs> but we see here trying to get that strength to come guys some forgiveness what was that deception that went on here guys and by the way there's never there's no gender in tarot and, and readings at all oracle readings or otherwise there's no gender here feminine and masculine energy and in this particular energy this is I feel a divine masculine that is trying to get the courage here to come and wouldn't that be something if somebody here's person has Scorpio, Leo, and Aries in their chart? <laughs> because it's really super strong here. But that's not going to be for everyone for sure. That's just a little side thing for you. Some astrology. Okay, guys. We're going to move on to channeled love messages. I stare into your eyes and all your photos. Yeah, I do feel like your person has been keeping an eye on you guys. My heart says it can't stop loving you. And I beg you to listen to your heart too. I know that I have hurt you, disappointed you. Please believe me when I say I'm sorry. Interesting, guys. You are my destiny. This... Amethyst Aquarius is so much about helping you to reach your destiny. Is your person your destiny? Are you sending this? Is your person sending this? I will say I see you guys both um, still there with each other in the past and both still thinking about the future. We see that in the go the distance. We see it in the between the two worlds. And we see it in the fork in the road and the here and the now. 
Um, I feel you're particularly there, but we also see this really strong spiritual connection together. This is sticking off. And of course, we see that divine timing, that tick-tock. Soulmates, the divine masculine here. The pain of heartbreak, I just can't bear. Your absence makes me gasp for air. Wow, if, if your person, that's too many, if your person is a Libra, then that's for them. It's here in your reading anyway, Aquarius, but that's just really particular. I'm ready to take all the blame. If you, if your person is a Libra, you make sure you go watch the last couple readings there and you'll understand. By the way, Libra and Cancer, coming through as I say that, pick up your opalite here. Somebody really wanting to communicate. Again, I'm not surprised we saw the message in a bottle card. I felt that. I really want to be with you. There's that Taurus energy again as well. Just like how I can't stop breathing, even if I try. I can't stop loving you no matter how hard I try. Cry. <gasps> no matter how hard I cry. Interesting. The Gemini energy coming through there. I have not moved on. I'm lying. You are all that I want, all that I need, all that I desire, all that I love. Is that coming in a message? I'll do whatever it takes to convince you that our love is worth the trouble. Whew. I'm putting that here with the come to the edge because that is really strong. By the way, I just feel the super strong Scorpio energy. Doesn't mean that anyone's even a Scorpio, guys. It's that energy between you. Scorpions are very passionate, too. <laughs> they also have these stingers and kind of hold on to things. So there can be something here. Um, yeah, we already know that with the, all that glitters and the loyal heart, that there's something here that really needs to be discussed, some deception. Hi, guys. I try to watch the camera, and sometimes I ju it just <laughs> I lose track of time. You know me better than anyone. Yeah, look, that goes right with the home card. That is that feeling of home with someone. Just knowing that you're, they're your person as soon as you come together. Look at this. Didn't we have that here? Am I imagining that? No, I'm not. That was your reading where that leaf came down. It's really wanting to be handled today. I'm not asking for a lot. All I want is for you to look into my eyes and say that everything will be okay. Okay, guys, we're going to move on to channeled song messages. Direct messages to you through song. It can be the sentiment behind the song, missing you, loving you. You can also be sending it to your person. And it can be that your song comes down, Aquarius, or a song of relevance to you. And it, the biggest thing I want to tell you is there can be messages here that I can't even decipher because they're just between the two of you a name, a location, a particular artist, one line. This is also yours. Is that one or two? That's one. Okay. Would you really rush out for me now? Blindsided, Bon Iver. And maybe I'll find a way to make it back someday, to watch you, to guide you through your darkest of days, darkest of your days, wherever you will go, the calling. There is a really strong long distance energy here for somebody. Surviving, 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 and nothing else surviving. Luca Fogale. So somebody's having a really hard time in this disconnection. Come just as you are to me. Don't need apologies. Know that you are worthy. Unconditionally, Katy Perry. Interesting, I just used this song for, gosh, who was that? Was that Gemini? I think it was Gemini's reading when I was um, making my little things that I post. I could move mountains, sail away, only because I've got this much faith. This love is alive, but I'm crying and lonely these nights. Breathe you in my dreams, Trixie Whitley. I'm going to move this here so I can take. I'm off the deep end. Watch as I dive in. I'll never meet the ground. Crash through the surface where they can't hurt us. We're far from the shallow now. Lady Gaga, Bradley Cooper, shallow. This is also yours. 
If I could, then I would. I'll go wherever you will go, way up high or down low. I'll go wherever you will go, wherever you will go, the calling. I have to say, guys, there is a really strong energy for some of you that this is long distance and did really have a lot to do with um, where you're living here. So that's coming through. Somebody sending that through. It's real particular for somebody here. You're always in my head. You're always in my head. You're always in my head. Always in my head, Coldplay. So find your shelter in my arms. Find your shelter in my arms. Shelter Luca Fagali. Okay, last two here. Then we're going to move on to the channel of love messages. I did forget to read them for Libra, so apologies if you also watched Libra's reading. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all if it ain't you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby. If I ain't got you, Alicia Keys. Don't want to give my heart away to another stranger or let another day begin. Won't even let the sunlight in. No, I'll never love again. Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper, I'll never love again. Okay, guys. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. It's really hard living without you. Will you wait for me? I don't know. Gosh, that here and now and that fork in the road is really strong. It's the first card and also the partnership placement. You were so good to me. Yeah, and that's why we see the leg up card because that is what you're needing. You're needing your person to reciprocate, give as much as you were giving. We see that here. There's an imbalance in the partnership. Um, I'm going to start moving things around a little bit here, guys. Apologies, but... Yeah, things get covered here. That's just really what happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's a little bit... that. There it goes. It's just... I got to not try <laughs> to, to, to dig things out. You are never far from my mind. I try. I am afraid to contact you. Yeah, I do feel here that there was already a message, text message or voice message can even be like a social media type of voice message here. And it can be that you already received it, but for a lot of you, it's your person kind of floating. If you see that, that is very emotional. It's in the divine. And in particular, a bottle in the water is, you don't really know. You're kind of out, it's kind of floating around and it could end up in a in the wrong place. It could get sunk here by the elements, by by animals, other things, by man-made machines, that type of thing, boats, whatever, but it can veer off track. You hope that it reaches your destination. That's what I wanna say here. So this can be telling us that, yeah, there is a fear. Also a fear that you may not even um, want to hear or respond back. I don't know why, I just felt like I wanted to pick up your, your amethyst. I am always with you. You are the love of my life. That was very slippery. Interesting how I moved the soulmates card around. So that can also be coming in a message. This just tried to flip over. I feel your energy. Yeah, it's very strong. Like I said, you have a very strong connection to the divine Aquarius. I will never give up on us. I care too much what people think. I dream of you. I really want to hold you. Okay, we're going to give them a last chance here. There's three and that's the most I will take. It was me, not you. You are so beautiful. I fear you have moved on. Yeah, that fear here is strong. We see the, the between two worlds, the here and now, and the, the um, fork in the road. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm going to get a Goddess Dream Oracle card, and then we're going to get some poems. So I want to first see if there's any angel messages here. Doesn't look like it today. So zero, four, six, one. Here's an F. 
All right, interesting, look. There's an airplane, so there is distance for some of you, and also it can be here. Who, yeah, that this is about the message that's traveling. Gosh, you guys, um, but that's real strong for the distance. I do feel that. Can it be somebody's traveling? Yeah, for sure, 100%. It's an airplane. But I also feel like that's linked to this conversation somehow. Okay? We have some more Taurus energy coming down. And a unicorn. That is your person knowing how special you are when you get a unicorn, guys. It really is this feeling of, of yeah, almost feeling like you're too good for them, I want to say. Wow, look what came down. It's the mask here. Whoops. That is in connection to the all that glitter. So look, there's one coming down. So somebody here can be coming through in a message, Aquarius. Is about to have a, there's a something going on, a reveal here. I feel like it's in a message. This conversation for sure. Gosh, you guys. Also a very spiritually guided connection. It's really weird, but I feel this need to do this. If you see spirit here in the card, here also kind of symbolic of that with the mask and just moving it out of the way. Wow. I'm keeping that out because that's, yeah, it's really, really special for you. And look, fairies are always about a faded connection for me. And you receive two here, one in the star, which is that star card, which is you, Aquarius. And that also is coming to an eight. That is an action. That's also a lucky number and a lot of Gaia energy, Mother Earth um, energy around it as well. So there's a lot of healing going on still. I feel like you're still um, hurting, but... We see that with the mending card too. We just know that already, that you guys are gonna have to do a lot of healing, but that faded connection, also you still having hope for it. We see that here on the table. We see you're still there, that you still love your person. You're hoping you can, they can be that one you go a long way with, but they need to step up here. And yeah, something here, whether it's coming out with some kind of a truth or an apology, but talking about what went on here, it's really big. So you have that fairy, and here is your other fairy here, guys. Gosh. Okay. And interesting, when alligators and crocodiles are coming into my reading, it really is about strength. And there's two here, so it's kind of for both of you. This is a very spiritual connection. I see that. And it can be some of you feel like, no, I'm going, and I'm, especially if you're on a twin flame journey and just living your life and, and putting a pin in it for the time. But divine timing did come down here, guys, the divine masculine. And also, I want to tell you, when I'm feeling that Gaia energy, that Mother Earth energy, that is also that Empress energy, which is the divine feminine. So you are both here, and that is that feminine masculine energy. That is not gender, guys. You are both here, and it feels like it's time, whether you're going to come together or talk or just even make a decision because the love is still there. We see the loyalty, we see the between worlds, but I also see again that here and now and that fork in a road. So it really is a fork in a road. I feel like you could go either way, but you can unsee that too, that beautiful soulmate card coming down for the two of you. Okay, I'm putting this here, these two because that's the duality too. And your last two, there is that angel, this guided connection. And that's not surprising, we already know that. So I'm gonna put that down. The last coming through is a dolphin. And I wanna tell you, that also was really symbolic of the friendship too, for the two of you that you had. And it really is an, is an alignment here with this. With this chop of all things, this chop wood energy. Look how interesting, message in a bottle. One of the alligators landed on it. So some of you might actually be in Florida. I know that's like kind of a, or somewhere where there are alligators. Interesting how that happened. It could be your person is there. Wow, guys, but this chop wood, it's a strange combination, I know. But the simplicity and the friendship, and that's what comes through for me with the chop wood, the healing necessary. Just wanting that simple, again, that connection that you had of just, yeah, it being easier and friends, 
because that's the other thing that here is really missing is the friendship. And that's something Aquarius, you really highly regard that and also the loyalty and the, the honesty. So that's something you are thinking about here and very much will need to heal that mending there to the two of you in order to get that back. But that is um, it's kind of where I feel like it's connecting to. Okay, guys, we're going to look at your goddess dream oracle card wow all is as it should be trust so what is it that you're thinking Aquarius because this is real particular for you spirit sending you a message about the path you want to take to get to that happiness guys where are you going here look at that it's right in your hand. And look at the bunny is sleeping with you. That is about you dreaming about new beginnings, whether again, as we said, with your person or someone else. It's also a little message here from spirit about matters of the heart. Trust, all is as it should be. It's coming to an eight. That is an action number. There's a lot of Gaia energy around that, a whole lot of healing energy here. So trust as, all, as, as it should be is also very much here. Let go, let God, let go, let goddess, go with the flow, meditate on what it is you want. You will be guided. What is for you will be for you. There is the path. There is that outcome. There are your messages coming from spirit. I love this for you. I really love this for you. Aquarius, that is your reading today. I wish you well. Love, light, all things good. Take very good care of yourselves. And I look forward to seeing you at your next reading. Bye.